What's up, Booger Hogs? Welcome back to another episode of Boogered Up Podcast. We're here, we're here. We got the fucking family here. We got the goons. A little short. A little short this time. Preach. We got Fairy Tail to my left. You guys are right. We got Evan on the side. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, we got Cody Ray in the back. Arr, arr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to start it off real hot by letting you guys know we appreciate you guys being the first, us being the first listener on you guys' Monday morning and everything. Yeah. 10 yeah, o'clock, you guys cool. hung over. You know, the weekend was crazy. And now we're going to bring you back, most certainly, as Cody Fuck Ray yeah. is pulling a cold one out, Fuck getting yeah, ready to get it. cracked. Oh, yeah. I'm about to start you guys off this Monday. Oh, Ooh, let's cr- get cracked. Damn, that was cracked. Everyone about- with the handout that says, I need to get cracking too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, toss it to him. He get the blue. Get the blue in you. Oh, that looked like they didn't even get shook up that much. A little flickety flick flick. Evan said, I'm thirsty. It's warm in here. Get this man another bat. Oh, my God. Deleted. the whole thing. Absolutely deleted. Wow, that was fucking insane. You did that just just to delete a beer. Just to start you guys' Monday off now. I'm going to hit you guys with a quick funny joke. We've got to get better at the claps. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> what, do you, uh, what do you call a cheap circumcision? A <laughs> <I'll> rip off. <laughs> Ch- oh. <laughs> Friday's joke was way better. Oh, yeah. Friday's joke was way better. It's all right. I'm still getting better at him. You just left these guys on a Monday just sad. That was just bad. No. Oh they're just like, oh, my dick. Yeah. What? <laughs> what about your dick, Nick? Rip off. Oh. You guys ever met somebody that wasn't uncircumcised? Yes. Yeah. You guys seen it? What's, yeah, no, it looks like the it. fucking end of a balloon. I haven't seen it, but there's a story. When I used to coach football, there was two players that they would get roasted by their teammates because they were uncircumcised. Damn, Damn, really? Two players. I said, wow, that's wild. Like, y'all got so two? I played football for a long time. Never had one teammate. And y'all out here, y'all go out in the showers together and shit. Be seeing everybody butt cheek naked, and somebody glances down and goes, "Why you got a hood on, fool?" (laughs) It's like, take take the the hood off. What are you doing, bro? It's hot outside. Fucking just peels it back. (laughs) Are you seeing them new lamps that are coming out? That are dude, yes. (laughs) Oh God, Uh, stick on uh, it. A little stick on lamp. It sticks on the wall, and the like cover for the bulb looks like a foreskin, and you stroke it back. To turn the light on. You That's feel the so skin funny. Back. Peeling it turns the on. Back. Yeah. That's so fucking funny. I need popular. one. They're all over the internet right now. I have uh, no idea why it's so popular. It doesn't even look like a decent light. It's just fucking. <laughs> you just pull it back and it's just like one light bulb just I randomly need, sticking out the wall like a dick. I need the foreskin light 100%. I need. That could be a great way to practice, like to see if you're good. And if you fucking stroke it back and the light turns uh-huh. on, that means you do a good job. Hold on. Huh. I know you're good. What do you mean? What are you What are you practicing for? Yo, yeah, you know, on myself. Oh, make sure you I practice for yourself. Yeah, you can always get better. You don't know your own dick. Yeah, I know him. He's all right, but he could be better. That's why you beat him, Nick. Like he owes <laughs> you money. <laughs> beat him like a whore. You beat him, Nick. You just fucking beat him. Who's... I'm out of beers. Fuck. Oh, that's tragic. Beat him like he owes me oh. money, eh? Nice. No, we're solid. <laughs> Nope, can't. Oh my God, get that! Please. Shitty ones are at the bottom. Remember that, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne of beers, more like the class lame of beers. Oh, <laughs> shit. that's so funny, dude. You're so good. That was a good one, Evan. Jeez, better than the Monday joke. Yeah, dude. it was fucking. Yeah. Fuck off. Back on team. Fuck Nick. What? For real, so still? So, when this, so this is dropping. This is dropping somewhere, you know, it's dropping a little bit. You know what's coming close under that? We're going to start it off real quick, guys. We don't have it yet for you, but I'm just going to full-blown uh. announce it, all right? I'm going to announce it. I know Evan's looking scared as hell. He's like, oh, no, don't do it. Please don't do it. They're not ready for it, but I think I have to do it. You hate kids? We have merch. Oh, that too. It's coming back. <laughs> back on my back. I fucking hurt. I just swallowed Shady's something. Shady's back. Something told me I shouldn't have said it, yeah, but yeah, I did it anyways. Because the goons need to know. They've been asking for a long time in the chat, in the group chats, in the comments. Like, hey, guys, when are we getting new merch? When are we getting shirts? When are we getting hoodies? When well, are we getting coolnecks? Cool when are we getting shorts? It's coming! I know. I ain't even fucking get When's it coming? made. When's it coming? Mean. When's it coming? September 2nd. September 2nd. Of drops. 10 o'clock in the morning. Fresh start. 
You know what you get on that? On the Friday? A lot of dick. A paycheck. You know oh. what you also get on that? Some fucking goon merch, baby. Oh, there's some dick. We got some designs for you guys that are fucking <laughs> fresh. Can't fucking wait. We got a For the Goon shirt, baby. Oh. And we got a nice little, you know, what's coming around oh. the corner, Evan? Oh, easy, easy. Don't tease it too much. Hold on. I got one more design. I got You got you. I got, can I tell them about the other design? Yeah. College football season is here. And what comes with that? Tailgating. 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 And you know what comes with that? Sick fucking shit to wear. So you know what the boys did? The boys put some fucking shit together. Shout out the Vantage Group for making up some tailgating shit together. Dog, this design that we're about to drop on the second, man. We might be wearing it next week. I'm praying we wear it next week. Oh, God. If you see this shit, you're going to be like, hey, yo, that shit hot. Yeah, that shit hotter than fucking hell. Hot fire. Hot fire. Hot fire. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait to share this shit with you guys, man. It's gonna be sick. Everybody needs to get that shit on, so everybody knows who you represent. And we know the fucking goons, mm-hmm. the bookaholics, are most certainly gonna have that shit on. Because honestly, <clears throat> I'm gonna buy it all. Yeah, I know I'm it's gonna, our own podcast. Yeah. I'm buying all. Of I'm it. gonna need all of it. That shit is hot. Yeah. Hot. I mean, how would we look <clears throat> wearing our own shit? Yeah, stupid. I'm be honest with you though. That's the only thing I'm gonna wear. All I wear is Carhartts now, and like now I'm wearing an Eagles jersey. Shout out yeah. to Al Owens. Buggered up merch. Mm-hmm. I fucking the merch. You can't wear it at work, though. It'll get dirty. It'll get dirty. No, it deserves a little grit. Yeah, grit and spit. Coming. That's coming. A little grit and spit. Oh, never hurt. a little more peas on the plate. <laughs> oh, shit. We gotta let you guys. I, I, You know what? We've been holding it in for so long, guys. Mm-hmm. And there's other stuff coming along very soon as well on that. That uh, We're not going to spoil that one yet, are we? We're not going to no. spoil that one yet? Not yet? Not yet? No. Okay. Evan, thank you for informing me on that one. But we want I, I, You know what? I thought it was about time to let you guys know. That the question is finally going to get answered. We dropped merch last year, was it? Two yeah. shirts, three shirts. We dropped three, three shirts, shirts. Three shirts. It was super sick. We sold out on almost every single one of them. You guys supported the hell out of us. And you know what? It was like we waited a little bit. To let you guys get a little needy for it. She's like, you know what? I need to pick up babes at, babes at a bar. I How like do I it. pick up babes at a bar? With the fucking Nike merch. gear. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're fired. You and Nike, bro. I'm just kidding. You're fired. I'm going to take the reins a little bit. So, Travis, I know uh, you got some big news coming up. You know, word around word around town is you know you're about to get. Yeah, I mentioned it last week. You I'm getting the snippy snappy. Is it because the snippy snappy. You hate kids? I hate kids. Honestly, I'll be real with you. He's kids, a... not my favorite. Really? Oh, yeah. Fuck them kids. I, I'm a great father figure, I've learned. Like when kids come up and shit, like I like I'm like really good at like playing with kids and everything. Wild sentence. Easy. Uh, I'm really good. I'm really oh, good. At, I'm really good at, uh, Easy. at bringing. Uh, I there's so other so many other ways to go around it. He Indulge. Writes, uh, oh. oh shit. Give them company. That's not even. That's even worse. Help. I think. No. Travis no. can keep all their secrets and hang Jeez. out and play. You're my best friend. <laughs> well, you're my best friend. No, okay. I'll so fuck- I've learned that like I'm really good. Like, like ever. Like, I, I can't even fucking. Do- I'm good. Okay. And so I thought that like I might want some kids, but then it- stop it. Let me fucking god damn it. I was gonna say. Oh, so you're good at handling kids. I mean, wait, that's not even... That's God, oh, my God. Damn it, I can't talk. How much? <laughs> uh, no, but I don't want to deal with the, the fucking, like, the younger, like, crying at the middle of the night shit, like, pooping, changing diapers shit, like, all that crazy shit. Fuck out of here with that. Fuck. Right, I'll throw you like a football. Swear to God. <sighs> Ain't no fucking way. That's so funny. The, the sole it. reason no. that I want children is because I want to raise an NFL son so that way he goes to the league. He is a high-paid offensive lineman, and then Papa E can retire. Why don't you just adopt a kid that looked like he mad ready for the league? Then you just expensive, but it's worth it when you're going to the league. But you can make your own for free. <laughs> for free? Well, that's not for free. It ain't for free. Yeah, well, it ain't it's expensive. Cause. Fucking's free. It's the afterwards that ain't free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah speaking of that, I had to buy some fucking little piss, t- piss sticks. Fuck around, and I was like, yeah. I'm like two weeks before the fucking final lap, and <laughs> fucked around, and I was like, oh no, oh, shit, I can't even get in the portion. We're all good. We're all, oh no, I ain't finished early. I finished on time. Just boy got a little in greedy. the wrong spot. Boy got a little greedy. That's what he, he said. I got a little greedy. He said I stunned. I, st- I stayed warm. Shit, shooting that thick and warm. Not much it. I that was, that was scary, but no, I I don't hate kids. I just don't think that you know. 
I, I don't think I should raise a kid like that. I think I should be able to raise a kid that is we like... You don't have stuck. a lot of patience. For one, that. For two, I just don't want to deal with the whole beginning shit and, like, growing. So I want somebody to know who they are when they get... Like, I want, like, a 13-year-old, like, to, like a doc. Oh, somebody who already to fucking doc, hates you. To a doc. Let me finish the sentence, Somebody Evan. already fucking <laughs> hates you? <laughs> Let me finish that sentence, Evan. Let Travis, me finish my I'm sentence. I'm real good at playing with kids. I really want a 13-year-old, too. That's wild, too. Man, you're just putting a whole lot on me, man. I got to oh, clear you, my name out here. Evan's like, oh. You remember the, my sister's hot clip? <laughs> yeah, suck me, Travis. He's That's just, why he's writing all these down. He goes, you better yeah. fucking do that same shit to <laughs> you like you did to me. That's right. No, I, I I want like a 13-year-old to fucking understand who they are and shit, and then they can come in, and I can like try and like lead them to like a better life than what they've already had and shit and that kind of deal. And not fucking deal with the whole kid growing up and like dealing with all the bullshit. Like, cause thirteen though, you gotta fucking buy a car for him in three years. Damn, they can buy their own car. Shit, they're working in a year. I got my first job at fourteen. Bet your sweet ass somebody's getting a but, job at fourteen years old. But you didn't buy your first car. You gonna make your son buy your first car? Hey, I ain't saying that I'm. I, that's me. I said that. <sighs> the, that nah. Get your own car. That's own so. Marketplace. Two thousand dollars. Little Pontiac Sunfire. I hope you out. This is a great car. Two thousand fucking five. By that time, it'll be like twenty, thirty, some shit. Hey, two thousand five. I do not want him as a dad. Yeah, bro. He's gonna be like no jelly beans for dinner, no fucking ice cream or some bullshit, bullshit like that. What the fuck did your parents what let makes you, you think do? I want chicken and rice again, Dad? Yeah, what makes you think I want chicken? Protein. The league. You're going in. I want ravioli. <laughs> Travis is going to adopt a, adopt a fucking mathlete instead of an athlete. Dude does his taxes for hey, him. Hey, fuck it. Hey, he's still going to make fat money shit. Shit. I fucking adopt the next Elon Musk. That would be pretty fucking sick. Yeah, hey, man. Could I come party in your mansion? No, I want to adopt a kid that, like, I feel like the kid, like, wouldn't have made it into a family kind of deal. And not in a bad way, but just in a way, like, that kid's not going to get picked, like... Not the blonde hair, blue eyed, fucking white kid that's just there. That's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick. So you want kid. the Anne Frank of the give bunch? Me, give me that kid that's just like had some trouble and shit. Can't get a fucking family and whatnot. And then what I mean, get that there's thing. a reason they're in trouble. There's a reason well, they're their their last pick. I could be that saving grace. So we're like, you know what? Like these parents are pretty fucking tight. They let me drink beers on a Friday night, and I'm 14 years old. And All I, right. my dad likes to touch me. <laughs> No. Yeah. He, Not even. I say no to yeah. beers too, but no. <laughs> if, if I was rich, I'd probably have six kids. No bullshit. Six? Only six? If My only rich, job is the fuck then. If I was rich, rich. Like from yourself, like from your work, so you're still working, yeah, yeah. or like you hit like the lottery and yeah. shit. I mean, regardless, if I had ample amount of money, like mm -hmm. to where I have to buy groceries for fucking ten people, isn't an issue. He said easy. I would have a lot of kids. Yeah. That's that's three on three. Three on three, it's much more probability of me putting one in the league. Uh-huh. Or he's, just being successful. He's only, dude, I would hate to be your son, bro. Your son ain't going to have no fucking leeway. He's going to be like, hey, Dad, I want this cheeseburger. No, straight chicken, nice fucking cuts. Everything's got to be – you got to have 0.0% no. of fat. I already and you got to be a lineman. You got to be just fucking big. I already laid out your sweatsuit. Get to running. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get with it or get lost, bitch. Honestly, you, and lady, <laughs> you and your lady seem like y'all about to be like that, though, because you both were pretty good athletes. Right, Evan hope, said, hope, get with it or get lost, bitch. I'm more excited on it. This is, right, let me finish it. Let me finish it. God damn it. I'm more excited if you have a girl, only because your girl is going to be a fucking beast at softball. A. Yeah, she, I hope she's like a fucking six-foot volleyball player. Just a stud. I hope so, too. Wow. I hope so, <laughs> that too. look, uh, Evan's look. I, Are you getting predatory over there? Nah, bro. She's oh. 18. To your unborn daughter, bro. <laughs> she's 18. In 18 years when you're 40. When she's six foot and 18 years old, uh, ain't yet. Then that statement going to be the same. like, yeah. Dad, Dog, you're I don't want to blow the spot for the joke that was in that special that we watched. Oh, yeah. that, spe it. That, kind of, that joke was so goddamn good. Fuck, I wish oh. I could say. I'll tell you guys off air because I don't want to blow the, the guy's Crazy word. word for somebody can catch a bullet. Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Golly! God damn! That's fucking wild. That's a sick scenario. <laughs> what, what was it? Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! No, I I don't. Do you do you guys? Cody Ray, what do you think about kids? 
<clears throat> um, I don't like. I've never changed the shitty diaper, so I, I'm not looking <laughs> forward to that. Horrible. I'm not bad. looking forward no, to that if, that if that comes the case. But I do agree with you. Once they get a little bit older, you have a little bit more control. You can kind of like sculpt them into being like a good person. You know, uh, I mean? you know just a that's devoted why, person. That's why you bang your kids out early. What? You bang <laughs> your wife so you can have kids early. There's Jesus better wording. Christ. Like, talking about kids is never a good subject because you like talk like a normal person and you're like, ah, you fuck kids. Weird. Ah, bang you fuck kids, kids weird. out early. Anyways, like that's why we're having, you know, we would want oh to have God. kids earlier. So that way, like, you ever heard that? It's killing me. You ever heard that, uh, like, thing that people say, grind in your 20s, build in your 30s, relax in your 40s? No, but that's a great... Yeah, my quote. parents fucking live by that. They're fucking chilling now. Yeah. We're all out of the house. 40s, everybody's gone. They're, just, they're about they to have a travel, house built. Do whatever in your 40s. Yeah. That's kind of the objective. Oh, so you're trying to get snappy on it now. Yeah. It's like, hey, motherfucker. Are y'all, gonna, are y'all really trying? Are not you right trying? Or you're not trying? When not are you going to try? Uh, After they say I probably. do. Next year? After they say I do. Yeah. I'm just trying to plan it. And uh, I want to have like a... September, October, baby. Oh. Hmm. So, like, January, February. Oh, everyone's going to start fucking in January or February. Yeah, I finally lose my virginity in January. It's going to be pretty cool. Hell yeah, dude. Knuckles, man. Hell yeah. I'm all Punch the fuck out the mic. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah, this dude. mic. My buddy's going to lose his V-card. Uh, yeah, I want to eventually, like, someday. But uh, obviously, it wants to be with, like, somebody that I want to be with. Skank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want over there. Not that chick in the corner over there? No, 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 no. Oh, Trisha's Trisha's a nice lady. Yeah, leave Trisha alone, bro. I'm sure she's a nice lady, but it's not who I want to raise my kids. Two things, two things. One, Cody Ray informed me on something about a while ago, called back to a couple episodes ago. Cody Ray actually was working the whole time and found a girl, actually, that he swindled. And she said that she might want to come on the pod. You remember that? Oh, what are the oh, eyes? What are oh the my eyes? god, I, was in I do Florida. remember that episode. I, I, do, I do remember that. I was in that. Florida. He told me that like a week ago. I forgot to mention that. I do remember. I thought you weren't going to mention that. I need to talk to you about that. Oh, <laughs> no. No, it, no, no, it'll be funny. It'll be funny. Is she for real coming on? I don't know. What do you then mean you don't That's know? That's up to you guys, really. What are the odds that this sleuzy that you banged is going to come on the pod? And they nailed it, and it's coming to fruition. Yeah, yeah, I see, couldn't believe it. I'm excited. You, you know what that this... also means? I got to get five star on my stomach because of the whole, I couldn't find the Effie shorts that, like, the super fucking short, or, like, it was, like, be gay on the butt or some shit like that. I couldn't find them. They don't sell them. So I got to get a five star for that. From who? Because there was a, I'm pretty sure it was me and Cody Ray that did, didn't we? Yeah, I think oh. we did it the same episode. Yeah, we both oh. got nailed with a, Damn. what are the odds? And I couldn't find them, so I said it washed out. But if he's going to come through with it, then I got to get five star Oh, give it. Do it. That's a five star that I know you've been wanting to give. Oh, dude, he's going to bust <laughs> yeah, my shit, too. Fuck Travis. Yeah, there we go, everybody. And now a podcast starts. What <laughs> up? It's fucking boogered up. <laughs> Welcome to it. But no, the second thing I wanted to bring up is that you had, you you, you told me, is it okay if I mention it about the, the, the little ball thing you had? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, you mentioned to me a couple of days ago or some shit about how you, you felt as if your balls were tangled up. Yes, I did. So, I did feel some discomfort. Yeah, so I, y'all ever felt that? I felt it a couple times. I'm feeling I, it in my fucking I, hip right now. Oh, my. That's why I can't <laughs> stay still, good, bro. good, bro? Because my fucking hip's killing me. You want to come sit on my lap? Uh, that might make it worse, dude. Like, my fucking hip's just killing me. Do you want to switch and have that Evan on or something and you stand No, shit? I might want to switch chairs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What in that one? It would be nice if we had new chairs. I cannot. Yeah, dude. I yeah, wish. It would be really fucking cool. Can't wait. Yeah. You can't wait? I cannot wait till we have new fucking chairs. Damn. Okay. So we Coming soon. On new order. chairs? New yeah, chairs we're buying coming. fucking on new order. chairs. Big new chairs whoop. Want to fight about it? Okay. Big whoop. Uh, but no, we'll okay. So you, I, I felt that a couple times. And like, if, if I know that it doesn't feel right, I'll like flip it. And like, it's almost like rolling the dice kind of like you like move your ball in there to see if that's all tangled up and shit. And it actually works. Uh, well, Cody Ray. It, Okay, so speak on it because this is my ball sack. This um, is your ball sack. How so does your ball to... sack feel at the moment? At the moment, it feels good. It's in mint condition. Good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, uh, I, I was talking to uh, Travis one day and I was like, man, I woke up and I, I feel like different, you know? It doesn't feel like it's sitting in the same place. It kind of hurts, you know? <sighs> yada, yada. 
man. He's like, you know I what? I feel like a woman. Yeah, sort of. Too much estrogen the night before. I um I did the man thing. I was like, oh, wait it out a day. See if it see if it works itself out the next day. Didn't. Woke up the next day. Went to urgent care. I I, I end up getting my balls fondled four times that week. Excuse me. Four four times, and it was not in a pleasant way. The same person or all four different people? Oh, uh, they were all different people. Was it all aggressive? Uh, no, no. Are you First gonna one, please? Are you gonna please? Inf- okay, you're yeah. okay. Go through. Okay. Thank First you. time I went to urgent care. And they're like, well, we don't really deal with this, but if you want, we can look at this. And I was like, okay. They were well. like, watch, we're about to look at this dude's balls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's more to that. Show it, me your balls. It, it turned out to be my childhood best friend's hot older sister. Nice. That, I have hey, not, oh. that I have not seen in probably a decade. So it was So very, she's looking better? I mean, she... Hey, yeah. 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 Shout out you, bitch. I'm in now. Let's go. What <laughs> yeah, do we yeah. got? So that was weird. To, to begin with, she's like, well, I can look at it if you want, but, I mean, it's going to be weird. I mean, it's it's weird regardless, so just fucking look at it. How, so where were you at? Where were you Pull, at from did zero you hide to your, ten? Where were you at from zero to ten did down you, there? No, did you hide it, or did you fucking just let uh, it all I, hang? I, I hid it. I, gra- I grabbed my thing, and I just let my balls hang. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't trying to hit her in the forehead or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of a video I just saw online. It was Janet Jackson. A dude was like... It's fucking Pornhub, bud. Strap, no. I see that shit all the I time there. Twitter. Dude was like oh. strapped in this like contraption on stage while she was performing, like singing. And she's in like this leather tight ass suit. And this dude just has no control. And she's just giving him the business. Just twerking all over him. She like stomps up on this like contraption that she's in. Like puss right here. Puss. What? And puss. I would have been, the comments were the funniest part. First comment, dude goes, "I'd have been bricked up on live television, not giving a single fuck." Oh yeah, cock at full staff. Yeah, oh, full staff. Salute. Statue right, so of Liberty didn't come so, from the front. So, so you, you grabbed your meat steak, pulled it up, so you know. Well, she looked no. at it. She went over the symptoms. Like I, I, I had like stomach pain. And she I got a whatever. question. I got. I'm sorry for cutting you off, but the hot sister fondled your balls at that moment. I was. Did you text that guy? Where were you? No, 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 no. no. I haven't talked to that guy. Where in years. were you feeling that she was at with that moment? At that moment, she was following your balls. Ninety-eight percent, like, please don't get bricked up. <laughs> I lo- the other two's concerned. The rest of it's like, this is fine. The two percent, like, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> it is fine. No, no, no. fucking. He's happened. like, I like my odds. All right, sorry. She went continue. over the symptoms. Kind of looked at it. Wasn't sitting in the same place. We all we thought it was twisted. So she's like, you can go to the ER, and they're gonna tell you the same thing. We can't really give you an ultrasound right now because they don't have a ultrasound. Yeah, pretty much. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go to work. If it's not going to explode and I'm not going to die, I'm cool. Whatever. Uh, It started to get worse the next day. Sunday night, went to the ER, ended up getting an ultrasound. It's not twisted. So I had to go Tuesday. I I missed the episode. Had to go and I was looking into it. STDs can cause that. So I went and got checked. That's where I was. All came back negative. I was clean. You get the Q-tip in your shit. Is that, no. Are they still doing that? Uh, no, but I I have had that before, and it is not pleasant. No. It's not so what, pleasant. How did you? It was just a urine test. Yeah. yeah. It was just a urine test. Mm. And then Friday, I had a urology appointment. Um, it turns out to be orchitis. So I got my balls uh fucking fondled by four different people: one hot nurse, one big old black dude, and then the other two were just some like fucking average middle aged white dudes. <laughs> Wait, what did you have wrong with your balls? Um, it's called orchitis. What's that? It's like an infection. It's just like fluid buildup around. You, you needed to bust, bust another nuts. nut. No, that trust me, I tried it. It didn't work. It was, did it hurt when you busted nuts? No, it oh. just like I was in discomfort. Like my balls kind of hurt, and then like my <laughs> my abdomen and a little bit. That's kind of why they thought it was God twisted. Damn. But yeah, um, he talks it up to a bad diet. He said, uh, lay off the caffeine. Stop drinking so much Mountain Dew. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. If oh, balls, shit. If your balls start hurting, so be, be careful. Yeah, lay off the Mountain Dew. Good thing I don't drink Mountain Dew like that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I drink, like, sometimes two bangs a day. Yeah, he said stay away from energy drinks. I don't drink them. Stay hey, the your caffeine, balls will thank back. you later. Yeah. Them hoes big, those. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be fucking worried. for a minute then compared to y'all. Y'all I love them energy shut drinks. Up. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got some medicine. Oh, fuck though. you. I'm feeling good. I'm back to normal. I just got, like, three more pills to take, and I'm cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Right, huh? Huh? Let me get one. 
<laughs> I mean, if you want. Gas station penis pills? <laughs> Y'all ever took one of them? No, I've thought oh, yeah. about it. They work? I had a buddy take one. Just for shits and giggles. Does it work? Yeah. It works. For a so you just while. bricked up for hours. Fucking, like, he said it felt like every bit of blood in his body went into his cock. And he oh, just laid there and she went dude. on it. And he just kept going. He couldn't bust a nut, though. Like, it had so much focus into it that, like, the fr- like your feeling of it was kind of numb. Because it was so much into it. To where he was literally fucking for like an hour and she was just like bouncing and shit. And she's like, I'm getting sore. I'm getting tired. And he's like, all right. And he started fucking. But he was lightheaded because the pill was fucking fucking him up. So he said he was in the middle of doing it. He was just like elbows up. Just like. He said after he got to start doing it, it was just not fun. He was was doing a workout. He ended up busting a nut like an hour into it. We all take a gas station penis pill in the next episode. Everybody just fucking got a tent. I don't know how wild this is. But I've always wanted to do the challenge with my friends of just taking a Viagra or a Blue Chew and then just putting on port and fucking last one, the first one to get a boner loses. I don't like that game. Yeah, I don't like that game. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like the blue, the boob hill wouldn't even fucking matter. Porn's on, I'm, I'm bricked up. I'm ready. (laughs) Porn's on, I'm ready. You can watch that shit and just like get bricked by just only watching it without I th- I think about it and get bricked up. Jesus I'm, Christ, you're still horny Cody's like a fucking a, teenager. Cody's a horny mother. Yeah, you're still I horny like, like it. a teenager. Jesus, that's Christ. nice. I don't I don't mind it though. That's hot. Mm. <laughs> you said I'm trying to no, fuck. That's, that's crazy. I'm trying to fuck. Uh. All right, what a great segue onto uh, cracking questions. Yeah, first, Evan, first one here. Um, speaking of cocks, uh, which object would you like to switch your penis size to? An octopus tentacle. The fuck you need that much grip for? That is so good. Well, you see, I see the fucking dildos and shit that bitches be riding. I'm like, yo. Are we talking grown ass octopus? Yeah. Like a big one, like. Nah, it could like, be like, like. the size of my arm. Yeah, because there's like babies too. Do you want a baby tentacle? Yeah, yeah I'd do a baby tentacle from like here to there. No, 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 like babies, like you eat at a seafood restaurant. Yeah, no, like, it's too like, small. Like this big. Yeah, you, there's a lot of different sizes. I'm already come here, into so I, I, I want, like I want, I bigger. want the teenager who goes from here to here. Oh, the t- what? The teenager octopus that you goes from here to here. You guys are weird into fucking thirteen year olds today. This episode's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Everything we're saying Never. is getting taken out of fucking. <laughs> we gave God it a good damn. run, but about yeah. fucking three years in, we got canceled. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Jesus Christ! No, an octopus tentacle for sure, because bitch is like, ooh, that's different. I feel like I'm fucking an alien. And it's just like me, just blah, 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 it, blah, blah, the, blah, blah. Okay, so it's the object? It's not the size of the object? Or is it just... I thought it was just the yeah, object. Whatever it the says, object is, that's how big it's going to be. No, yes. I mean, like, if it, like, is his dick look like a tentacle, or is his dick the size of a tentacle? No, it looks like a tentacle. The size of a tentacle. It's so your dick ain't fucking got the little oh, suckers on it and I, shit. I thought my dick your looked dick like a tentacle. Your dick just the same size. Oh, damn. It's just your penis size, too. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's, bro. All right. Like, for example, mine is my 2013 Hyundai Sonata out there. I would change mine to a Holy fucking Slim Jim. F- what the fuck you want to be that skinny for? The length of a Slim Jim. It ain't fun. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> no, fuck oh, that. Right. You, you might want to stick in, to that. I'm not saying that. You want to snack into the Slim Jim? <laughs> I'm out on that one. Later that be. That one would get us in trouble, I think. Oh, golly. Always trying to get I, us in I trouble. Hold my li- I hold my liquor. I hold my liquor. Go to her, what's yours? <laughs> Uh, I would say just like a cucumber Because I feel like if it's too big It's just uncomfortable And then like What are you going to do with that? You can't, dragging you can't, that bitch down State Street You can't really put it in anything Drag that bitch down State Street Honestly, monster can That's really big God, and girthy What a fucking thonker, bro Oh yeah well, you also do realize the comment that I said earlier, I've never had to deal with the uh, the of it. I've only dealt with the of it. No, so I hear you, but... If I had the which everybody says the is better, then... Monster can. There's, there's a can right fucking there, that broken skull. It's the same exact No, actually, size. I want that one. That one's a little bigger, too. Shit, I want that one. <laughs> I'll take his little brother. I'll take the fucking <laughs> right guy's can. Ah, oh, bust the walls out of motherfuckers. That's, that's more like a chode, though. Cool, it's still five inches long and fucking eight inches of girth. Yeah, that's a chode. There's still a back wall. It doesn't matter how long Fuck it is. Fuck the back wall. I'm not going for I'm depth. Just, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
There's yeah, you're gonna whoop wall. whoop them walls. Like it don't matter. That's right, whoop whoop. It you're gonna matter. whoop whoop them motherfucking walls with that cock. Don't try and don't try and pitch that sale like that. You're that's only getting wild. two whoops in though, because it's gonna be a fucking screaming for pain. Because goodness. I don't know. He said good. I don't know. I've heard I've heard I've heard some dudes that I know that got they got that thing on them that be you know that they got that thing and girls are like, yo, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna That's problems. Hey, but that shit can do that a baby can come out that bitch. That thing gonna That's that's like a train. Shout out my mama because I'm a big motherfucker. Oh shit. I don't know where that was going, but all right. My head is fat. And I was like nine. Yeah, pounds. bro. All right. Do you know the story of when you were born? Like you tore ever, some stitches, you, eh? You, yeah. Did you get any, your mama ever get no, stitches it was and shit? All cool. You didn't tear her from the no, B to the A. Like shit, my shit. I fucking bust that door open. My mama. That told, happens, that my happens mama told me as soon as think. that shit was going out, she's like, "Hey, yo, this dude's got a noggin on him," yeah. and I just fucking went, "Danga, danga," and then it just went. Pfft. That's way more common than you think. Oh, the buttholes being torn. Open it wide open. Yeah. I was a C-section. Oh, was All, it? Me and both my brothers. You got pooped on. That's a smart way to do it. <laughs> what did you just I say? I got pooped on. Honestly, that's a normal thing, too, yeah, though. I've heard that when the girls be... do it. Yeah, because when you're pushing... C-section? Oh, no. A lot uh, quicker. That's, There's no... I, uh, he was talking about pooping. Uh, yeah, oh, I was oh. talking about poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. People release their bowels all the time. Yeah, they'd be putting too much pressure in it. Drop a whole ass turd. Yeah, and at the same you time, like, you come out, you slide right in there... I'd be so mad if I was a poop baby. Dude, I uh, I came up with this the other day. I asked my buddy at work. I'm so scared. Okay. <clears throat> Dudes give birth, except for they don't give birth out of their dick. Their whole dick falls off, and it's like an egg. The baby hatches out of it, and your dick grows back. Would you be for it? How fast is the grow back rate? Yeah. About six months. So there are weeks that I'm looking at it, but like at a three months for me because like it doesn't have to go as far. <laughs> 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 it's so if there's like there's like a couple weeks you're looking down, and you're looking at like a very very brand new born baby penis, <laughs> and you're like, yep, yeah, it's what Do I got to work with right now. Same size? What? Mm-hmm. Do my balls stay the same? Yeah, size? yeah. It's just oh, your dick. Your dick is weird. like a your dick is like. Does an it egg. work like a vagina too? It opens up and shit. Like I can get dick? fucked those couple days? No. Oh. I just Girls fall- can't get fucked. <laughs> it just after. falls off like a lizard's tail. Then it grows back. Huh? Girls can't have sex after pregnancy for like fucking like two months. Really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's one of the most wild. fertile too. Damn. I'm gonna need to get pocket pussy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the one that attaches to the VR like we did last week. Atta- no, attaches? fuck that. Dog, but- right? No, fuck that. Get that one that you can suction cup while you're in the shower, and then you can just fucking go to town. Or you could just do the thing that that attaches to the VR that fucks around. You just sit there, and this thing just goes... With the video? And it bounces as the video's going and shit. That's what I'm saying, Evan. (laughs) Evan's lost. Evan's tired. I'd never have sex again. (laughs) No way. (laughs) Chloe's fucked. <laughs> Her job is gone. Yeah, Her job, you're off the table. <laughs> I hope you're happy with the one. That's it. That's all you get. You're benched. You're fired. This Dog, is it. That's so this is funny. it. Eva goes. You know what? I don't think I need this wedding. How about that? <laughs> you know what? Shit don't feel the same. I'm single and ready to Oculus, baby. <laughs> and ready to Oculus, baby. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. My dude. man's got a fucking. Uh... So what's the other cracking question we got here? Um, next cracking questions. Wait. Yeah, okay, we all went through, right? What was yours? What was your object? Did you answer? Yeah, I said a cucumber. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, Look, I thought you many... were digging in your ass, bro. Oh, 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 my oh. fucking hip. After how many beers are you at your happiest? Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh, this I would is a real say... tricky number. It all depends. I would say six is probably my happy medium. Because I'm not too drunk, but I'm not too sober. I'm just fucking right, going with the vibes. I, I'd say a 12-pack, and I'm vibing. Like, just straight, ready to party. Straight thugging. Like, I could drink a 12-pack. Like, at the pregame, if I drink a 12-pack and go out to the bars, I'm good for a while. I'll pre- just straight, I'll get on dance floor, I'll sing karaoke with a 12-pack in me. I think I, I felt yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm at eight or nine, depending on the beer. If it's just like a Miller High Life or Bud Light, I think I'm gonna go eight or nine, because I, especially when you get to that moment to where like you don't know you're drunk, 
because you get your little beer coat you, you, going you, you, on. You get you're warm at, at my at, at my happiest when I'm drinking that kind of nature. I'm talking about spilt I, beer. I don't beer, know beer that I'm coat. drunk. I'm just at that peak right on that because like I'm, for you like you're not too drunk, you're not too sober. Like I'm a little bit too drunk, but I don't know it yet. Mm-hmm. So until I get like it depends on the how fast I get them other ones into if they're if they're coming in fast. But that eight or nine beer, I'm the best person you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah. And then when I get to like eleven or twelve. If I realize how far I am, I might not be the best person you've ever met in your life. Yeah, no, <laughs> tw- Twelve is cool, but when we did, uh, we used to do something called Wade Boggs Day. Wade Boggs. You wear a straight, you know Wade Boggs is? Yeah, yeah. first baseman. You wear a straight white t-shirt and your buddies tally how many beers you finish on your shirt. My fucking buddy did that one time, and I swear to God, I thought he was joking. He was not. He had like fucking 50. Yeah, you start early in the morning and you stop until you you pass out. Yeah, he. I you saw him at like two o'clock out. in the morning. He comes stumbling in. He had no fucking idea who he was, and I saw the dashes on his shirt, and I'm like, "What are these?" And he goes, "Beers and drinks." And I was like, "What?" Yeah, it's a problem. You have to you have to drink as many beers as you can. The goal is a thirty rack and a whole rotisserie chicken. Oh, rotisserie chicken. That's the goal for the day. Why? Can we play that? Why the? I don't know, why, but we can play it. Why but, the chicken? Because that was his thing. He would drink a thirty pack of beer and a rotisserie chicken, but. Uh, before every game, that's a rumor. Wow, that's dude. Baseball players used to play so fucked up, like that pitcher who threw a no hitter on LSD. Yeah, yeah. There was a fucking like what was that thirty thirty for him or some shit. Yeah, that was sick. That. It was like a documentary about him. He really didn't even remember the fact of that. Yeah, didn't well, even. No. Yeah. Speaking of remembering, um, you guys aren't really big wrestling fans here, uh, but you guys know Ric Flair. Yeah, yeah. Of course. You know Ric Flair just had his very last match. Did he? Did I he? watched it. Fucking catastrophe. I okay. he retired a couple years ago. Yeah, he's, he retired like three times, but this apparently is his very last match. He came back, trained for it and everything else. Watched this match. I wish I could have had 30 minutes back in my Fair life. Right. Dude, so there was an interview that just happened with him. He looked like shit. I legit was so concerned for somebody's health. Like, when wrestling, you're bleeding and shit. You're watching tax, fucking barbed wire, all this shit. You're like, all right, yo, this is all crazy. Like, they're good, whatever. This guy legit was like unresponsive at times. Oh jeez! Like, like, he, like the guy, his uh, son-in-law. He's um, she's, he's married to uh, Charlotte Flair, his daughter. She's hot. She she ain't too bad. Uh, he uh, he's like trying to get him. He's like, all right, you know, it's your turn. It's your turn, sir. It's your turn. And he's gone. He was. He's got to be almost seventy. Something like that. I mean, maybe. Yeah, that's old. I would say past. I think he's like older than that. Really? Say, so dude's old. Um, he's got he, some years on him. He, he uh. He actually fucking was dehydrated because he wanted to make – I think it was like 220 was his weight he wanted or something of that nature, 180 or something like that. He was two pounds less than that, so he made sure that he was at his size. But he didn't drink water and like completely like cut himself off of everything. He literally blacked out twice during the match. He had no fucking idea he was involved in the match. Like there was a moment he got tagged in. He crawled. There was a dude laying center of the fucking ring. He crawled, and it wasn't a fun crawl. It was a struggling, I'm not okay crawl, mm. and then just gets on the dude to pin him. And you could tell when he got there, he was like, fucking thank God. Yeah, dude. He's That's... 73. <sighs> Holy shit. 73, 73. It was wow. a 30-minute match. He was born in 1949. Oh, my God. 19. I'm going to be in a wheelchair at 50. I couldn't fathom getting in a goddamn ring at yeah, 73. 73. 1949 <laughs> was his birthday. <laughs> it was his birth year, and he just wrestled a fucking match. I streamed it. I ain't paid for that shit. Thank yeah, God I did. Yeah. I'm almost older than every single one of my grandparents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's older than mine. Yeah, that he's about the same crazy. age as mine. That's crazy. Where are you at for your beers, Cody? Right, you didn't answer. I'd say three. It's not like a lightweight thing. It's like when you're drinking and then you start to feel it. Like your face gets warm, a little bit numb. So lightweight thing. You get like a. <laughs> no, it's not like when I'm drunk. He said, "No, motherfucker." It's when it starts to kick in. You get that smile on your face. Your face gets warm. You're fucking. Dick starts to get warm, you know what I mean? You get a little tingly all all in your body. About what does beer What does beer do for you that your dick starts tingling? Yeah, I need to drink yeah. his beer. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, let me get that case real quick. Yeah, yeah. let me, yeah, let me have Holy shit, Cody Ray. It, it <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching it the whole time and I'm like, fuck. He's got a six pack down. Somebody help this man. Beer Give hits me every fuck. part of my body. You want one? Yeah, I gotta <laughs> help you. you. I got two left. 
Are Whoa. you fucking kidding me? Nice hands, dog. Yeah, that almost destroyed Joey B. I got to protect my man at all costs. Oh, my God. How did I do that? Hey, I got the T.O. jersey on for a reason, my boy. I just seen a that clip. going straight for that brimming horn bottle, dead center. I just, I just seen didn't want to the mic. That's, that's what I was not aiming for. I just seen a fucking clip of T.O. on some TV show on TikTok, and he was arguing with some dude. And this dude threw in his face how he was bankrupt, basically. And he's like, I didn't blow $70 million or something. And T.O. was like, what? Oh, what shit, up? So what? On him? Yeah, he's like, so what I did? He still got money. That's what I'm saying. He still got fucking money. Dude, you know what's great? We're talking about T.O. right now. I want to bring up the fact that we talked about it. You know, we we mentioned the merch and everything, the tailgating and such. But there is something that is coming soon. And you, we talked about it ever so slightly last week. But somebody who is very smart in football is here. Guys, we are less than a month away. We're here. We are. This week, isn't it this week? It's like yeah, High school football? What's today? Today currently is the 16th. So Monday. Yeah. Three days ago was the first week of Ohio high school football. So this last Friday? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. It's already That's here. That's fucking crazy. College football's coming. NFL is coming. Yeah. And you know what's crazier than that? 1-1-2023. One, one, Ohio sports betting is legal. That's In, bad. You said January 1st? January 1st. That is bad for my yeah. account because I'm going to be on draft. Sports games. betting's fucking legal. Every. I, and this is a pondering thing. You guys can uh, make a comment in here if you want us to do some stuff, if you're going to dabble Actually, with it as well. Actually, fuck Barstool Sportsbook sponsors. 100%. I'm going straight to Barstool. Um, I think we should make a segment off of it. Oh, oh who or take our picks? Give us a little dabble. Like, Absolutely. What's your pick? I will toss a parlay every fucking episode. Maybe it's Evan's parlay of the week. Yeah, we'll have to do. We'll go TikTok live occasionally to toss you a fucking parlay. To oh, we have a couple night. ideas for that. Yeah, Don't worry, for TikTok live. We we'll get brazy with it. Yeah, I love fucking sports season. And when sports betting is legal, football I'm, is right around the corner, and I'm so goddamn right excited. Here, baby. I'm down to gamble. I've just never done it, and that's why I'm just always nervous to do it. To gamble, got to be smart with it. I've never even been to the casino. Me, either. you bought a scratch off? No, I haven't. I've had them given to me. You've never bought a scratch off ticket. This no. motherfucker came in here with three pull tabs off of pull, three single right, dollars. Right. So I've bought five bucks for the pull tabs, but I don't count that as like a lottery ticket. But That's I gambling. Mean, you only yeah. you only bought five dollars worth of it though. Yeah. That's smart. In gambling. your whole life, you've only spent five dollars on gambling. Yeah, bro. I'm always wow. nervous to fuck because I'm like, if I fucking lose, then I'm out of that money. I was like, I just That's wasted it. They, all the big sports gamblers, sports betters, manage your bankroll. Whatever you are comfortable losing a month. Yeah, bro. You can't just spend your fucking mortgage on that shit. That's I, I kind of was starting to do a little bit There's of that. when people get in trouble with that for real. When stocks, when stocks yeah. was going crazy in like 2020, I was starting to spend some money I shouldn't have. And I, oh, it I paid a, off for me. I put a fat amount of money in a Dogecoin. <clears throat> yeah, I did too. I won a good. I, I returned a good amount. Yeah, I, I, it was good. I was like $400 deep in a Dogecoin. Oh, I Damn. was like two Gs in yeah. on Doge. I was stupid. And I bought it at like the peaks at the end on accident because I thought I was just going to keep going. So it fucked my fucking average up yeah. like a motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> but no, dude, sports betting. Okay, so I wanted to have a little fun here. Okay. Uh, Evan. Super Bowl prediction right now. Mm. You want my unpopular one or my most likely one? Most likely. I want to no, yeah. I want to get both because I want to see what you have to say. My unpopular one is going to be. Is he close to the mic? Is he good? My good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. My unpopular one is going to be Eagles Ravens, and my popular one, like the, the one that I could see happening the most. Is going to be Bucks and Bills. I need to take a couple steps back. Unpopular, but you believe in that? I I could see it happening. I I truly believe in Jalen Hurts. I do like him as a quarterback. The Eagles and the Ravens going into the fucking Super Bowl? Yeah, I was thinking the that. Ravens healthy are going to be nasty. Yeah, That's going to be a tough team. Wow. I think the Broncos and Bills. Broncos are AFC. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Throw me another beer. <laughs> I, I'm out. Oh, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Do you want that one? Mm-mm. The happy dad? Oh, we have oh, first shit. pours! 
First poor season. I, I'm going to grab the oh, first poor God, while we give. <laughs> I'm I, okay. On, okay, you know, Homer, I think the Bengals are going to run it back. We've, you know, we have I mean, grown. I um, and I think that what you good? Yeah, I just got. I just got. Really I got to sit back now. My fucking hips killing me. <laughs> so if, you got to edit around this. If Watson story. stays at six games, no. I can see the Browns in it too. I I, mean, I, I think I think it's going to be. This is an unpopular one for sure. Bengals Packers. No way. Uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, sucks in the playoffs. I can't. I think this Packers. year is the year he turns it around purposely because he finally is able to come out of the. Well, who's I, think the Rams, I think the Rams fumble. His number one receiver is Alan Lazard. Yikes. I, I'm telling you right now, I got a weird feeling about I'm the Packers. that motherfucker in fantasy, though. Number one receiver for Aaron Rodgers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Click it. I fucking drafted Devontae Adams, number one. Oh, that's a good pick, too. Him and Derek Carr are going to be fired. Another one without the Bengals in it, I would have to say it's going to be – I've got Oakland. Hey, yeah, that's, that's Oakland that's versus not a bad pick. Oakland. I don't want to go Tampa. Tampa's. I, I don't think Tampa's going to do it. I think Rams run it back. Really? I think Aaron Donald, and then Aaron Donald goes double double, and then he's done. If that's if that's my other one, I have to do that. Right, well, this is Aaron Donald's eighth season, and he always said he wanted to play eight and skate. And he was talking about retiring last year, and he's still yeah. one of the best in the fucking league, if he not the best to the ever best. play. And he's the best defensive player to ever play. Since Madden 18 till now, he's been a 99 overall. Yeah. Since Madden. In 18? Since Madden 18. He's Holy post, fucking he's shit. He's won a postseason award every time he's been in the league. It was either MVP or uh, not MVP. Defensive player of the year. He was first team all pro or he was a sacks mm-hmm. leader. Every single year he's been in the league. 99 overall since Madden 18. Oh, my God. Is there any is there any sleepers you think? Cody Ray, are you going to b- bring in, do you think, or no? I don't. That's way out of my league. Okay. This is the first year I played fantasy football. We discussed I, on I, a uh, later episode that. What was your my, number one pick? My number one pick? Well, you had your brother pick, didn't you? Hey, hey, he said, uh, you fucking snitch. You fucking snitch, bitch. I think, uh, I think Rashad Bateman is going to be a crazy receiver this year for the, very good. for the, and Russell Gage. Them are two wide receivers that I think that are, good. that I think are going to get crazy this year. A receiver I think is going to go stupid. He's finally back. Michael Thomas. Yeah. I think he has a fucking stellar year. Hey, I got him. Because. I got him. Simply because. Who's your number one? I don't. How do you tell who? All the way at the top. Your team. Okay, my quarterback Joe Burrow, Saquon Barkley, R. Stevenson, Jamal Chase, Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase. You got Burrow and Chase. Yes, sir. God damn, that's a duo. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, M. Evans, Trey Cle or Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, Kelsey too? Travis Kelsey. Kelsey was probably his first pick. Whatever you got he, Kelsey, Jamar Chase, and a duo. Whatever you were just talking about, Thomas. Michael I got the Thomas. Colts. I got the Colts defense. And then what some, league are you in? I'm glad I'm not in this fucking league. Something Tucker as my kicker. Justin, Justin Tucker? Tucker, the yes, best sir. kicker ever. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus and then my Christ. backup quarterback is Trey Lance. Are you fucking kidding me? DeAndre yeah. Hopkins is my next receiver. Something more. M. Carter. DJ Moore. Michael Carter. H. Hurst is my Aiden tight, Hurst. Is my backup tight end. No, he's a Zach Hurst. No, he said H, yeah. H Hurst. Oh, H Hurst. You got fucking Hayden Sleeper, dude. Absolute sleeper. He's going to be a fucking um, dog this Perkins year. Perkins from Pittsburgh. And then Ingram the second. Mark Ingram? Yeah. I, the Hurst thing threw How me off. I was so flustered, dude. 12. You got that lineup with 12 people? That's you're playing lineup. somebody. You're playing everybody else that does not understand football. Yeah, no, none of them people that got picked. You that, picked, You said three names that literally are at least top two can't get past it. The fucked up top thing two, is Top I two rounds can't football. get past it. I can't believe that you got – who was your other receiver? Jamar Chase and who? Michael Thomas. You got Hop. Yeah, I can't believe you got – Michael got Thomas D-Hop, and Jamar Chase. DJ Travis Moore. Kelsey. Here, you, you take this. Well, I can't believe – Andre Stevenson. Oh my fucking god! Trey Lance. The fact you have Hayden Hurst as your backup tight end too behind. Oh Trey. my god, he's got George Pickens from Pittsburgh, the rookie. Oh shit, he's gonna, gonna be, be a dog. He's gonna be savage if he can get a quarterback to throw to him. But uh, from the clips I've seen, Mitch Trubisky wow. hasn't looked he's terrible. Doing decent. Oh, I was gonna say he hasn't popular, looked terrible. Unpopular football opinion since we're on the topic. Mike Evans is a top five receiver in the league. 
That's uh, very unpopular. Top <laughs> top Out, five in- outside of fantasy football. He's not a big fantasy performer because. What do you mean? He's not ever on the field. He's always fucking hurt. How can no? He's see? not. His last no, no, he's not ever. Eight, eight seasons in a row, he's been over a thousand yards. Yeah, eight last year he got in injured, but he still was over a thousand when he was injured. Dog, no, I swear the season before that he was injured too because I had him on that too, and he he's was fucking nice. out. He's good. He was injured a lot. Last I don't year, know about but. top five. I think I'd have to do somewhere with like Adams. I think Jamar is top five over him. I think that uh, Cup. No, I'm not. You're so strong on D Hop. I'm not, bro. He's a f- D Hop's a dog. D Hop is a dog. He's top ten for sure. But I top ten, top yes. Five, top ten, yes. Because I'd go Tay Cup Chase Tay Devontae. Okay, Devontae Chase Cup Chase, Cup Hill. No, Justin Jefferson. Justin AJ, Jefferson and Mike Evans would be my top five. I'm trying to think who my fifth would be. Then I don't even. I already cracked this. It was a splendid oh. crack. Here we go. Okay. So we officially finally have Happy Dads on the podcast. Still um, not available in Ohio. What the fuck? No. Yeah. I'm, so I have gonna, Wild Cherry. You have Wild Cherry. I have Pineapple. I'm glad you gave me this one because this one was my favorite. I feel like Pineapple. Happy Dad Hard That's Seltzers. a fucking pack a punch. All smell right. it. Mm, smell mine. Damn, that smells really good, too. I know. Guess, oh, bro. Guess what I fucking did. What? Made some Kool Aid yesterday. Hell yeah! How'd you do it? The wrong way. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. This shit's splendid. How I ta- how I made it. All right. Well, let's fucking, to the happy dad. You, know, you could put a koozie on it. Yeah. No free clout. Never. Oh yeah. That's a it's supposed to be like a less carbonated seltzer. This it's, yeah. This takes fucks. this takes me back to fucking clear water. I drank a whole twelve pack. Let me see that. So you've had this before. I have not had Happy Dad. Honestly, uh, pineapple. Coo- give me one of these koozies. My company. Yeah, give me one. It's hard, ain't it? That pine- That pineapple fucks. Damn. You know what that tastes like? Schwann's man juice. That's no. Are you talking? Look at your mic is behind you. What does that taste No, like? I'm trying to get my drink back. <laughs> you know, like lemon heads, but they made the cherry ones, the red ones? Let me take a sip of that. That's what it tastes God like. Damn, everybody's fucking like... You already yeah. had the pineapple? Yeah. You've oh. had these, you greedy asshole. <laughs> I know. They don't, they don't come up here. <coughs> Fuck, that hurt my That's back. fire. What? That hurt my back so fucking bad to I'm cough. Trying... It kind of tastes like a cherry push pop. That's that, good. That, that's what I'm saying. I, as I'm getting more, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not... That's I, I like this a lot more than that. You want this? If you... No, I I, I I'm actually not a big do want to try that one. Guy. Here, help it up. The pineapple. Will... Help it up. Pass like... it along the way. Pass it along the way. The pineapple one fucks. I'm not gonna lie to you. Happy Dads. Honestly, we haven't done a rating in a while. I'm gonna give that a nine one. Wow, that's a really high. I one. could drink that and drink yeah. that well. I give mine a fucking nine. If White Claw's a ten, that's a nine six. White Claw is not a ten. White Claw is not a ten. Suck my dick from the what? Back. White, White Claw, Claw is true. White Claw coined the seltzer, and they're still I the best. Back. I saw that face. You're not too happy about it. Fuck you. White Claw is not the best. It's, it smells good. The taste is what not. Is, it's not. I terrible. said White Claw is not. I'd rather have a Truly over White Claw. Ew. Nah. Truly is so it tastes artificial. Is this a fucking seltzer? God <laughs> damn it! It's a hard seltzer. I have not liked a hard seltzer until right now. <laughs> they need to bring it to Ohio. Wow. I have no. I hated seltzers. I didn't even know that was a seltzer. Hey, we're gonna clip this and send it to the milk boys and be like, "Hey, damn, well, let's dog. get some." Send fucking, it this way. I feel guys. like a bitch now. The milk boys make that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I, I and it's fuck fucking good. Boy. Good. Yeah, that was good. That was a really good, good fucking. Day. Thank you, thank you. Who was it, Garrett? Shout out Garrett. Yeah, he's yeah, not here, Garrett, but thank right? you. Oh, even though Garrett's not here, we appreciate yeah, you very much. You. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, what else we got on there? Uh, bar talk. Yeah, bar talk. Um, first topic of bar talk. <clears throat> what are some things that you care about the most? Golf, money, my girlfriend, pussy. And boogered up. Top five. Top five, top five. Okay. I like the, I like the last one on there. I like the last one. Uh, my family. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot about them. My, <laughs> no, my family, friends and family included, but more friends. Just because my my goons are always with me at all times, I know that for sure. Salute to the goons. Uh, I got money, a chapped asshole, boogered up. What? It feels like I got a chapped asshole sitting here, bro. My fucking 
hip is in so much pain. I, we got a clip how many times he talked about his hip this time. Fuck yeah, right, bro. We can get Nick out of that chair. Let's, let's run this up. What do you care about, Travis? <laughs> <laughs> My friends. You I'm... don't have to be all fucking mopey dopey pussy. Oh. He's attacking. This is about to be a Saturday. <laughs> 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 What was that? <laughs> He's getting better. He's Nobody making sound. <laughs> He's getting sound. I love that. What that was the wildest sound. Evan, went, Evan went, what the fuck is happening behind me? Uh, no. So <laughs> see, now his laugh. Now his laugh is back to being oh, autistically shit. quiet. <laughs> Oh god, that was such an odd, <laughs> odd sound. Where's the Tesla? I don't know. I it's caught by it, a fucking it, yeah. hat. I've never been able to see it, so <laughs> I've only heard about it. Um, so all right, yeah, money, family. I only uh, hear about it. Money, family, boogered up. Um, and uh, my future. Nice. I like that. I mean, Do I have you got? five? Is it, is it pick five? I or, just that uh, was just everything you know that I got in my uh, mind. Beer. Right, you know? That's What's pretty. That's pretty. Important. Money, cars, and hoes. That's, that's three. That's <laughs> wife is not included. Your fiance is not song. included. That's fucking awesome. Um, the wife, my dogs. Um, you only could have just put that in the family as one, like I did. Oh yeah, so like family. My wife is an exception because she's number one. Um, Call me a pussy. You fuck around and say, "Mom, hey, wife don't one. don't front." Act like your wife listens fucking fifty minutes into the goddamn podcast. She, she doesn't. She watches the clips. I noticed that she liked the only clips that she liked was the ones that Evan was a big part of. It's and like that she was it. It's like she didn't she, like the rest of them. It's like, she, it's like she'll watch them and then she's like, "Nope, not my honey bear." She's my biggest fan. The one with the two inches of the hundred mile per hour got a like from her, and I was like, "What?" I don't. The other one was oh, the, the sister gr- one. She liked no. the sister one, I think, and I was like, "That's it. That's all you got. You went all the way down there just to like those two? <laughs> she's just listening. He ain't giving no us Evan. no more love. No Evan. No Evan. No Evan. <laughs> um, yeah, family. My woman, my dogs, and money. I like it. Nice, Cody Ray. Um, we'll go. We'll go with family, like the family I was born in. Immediate family: brothers, parents, grandma. And then my Shout other family, which is my friends, aka you guys, yeah, the, goons, the goons, the goons, the shitties. Uh, my dog, my dog. Um, we didn't booger up. I mean, yeah. Took the words right out of his mouth right there. there. <laughs> like I, Took the words. He <laughs> said, shit, that sounds pretty good to he me. Said, I ain't gonna lie. He's I was trying dude. to make it sound more classy, but you, you fucking nailed it, dude. <laughs> he said, hit the hammer on the nail. Fuck yeah, dude. That was a good I little bar, that little question for <laughs> bar talk. All right. I fucked that up. Uh, uh, I, I do like the people I work for. Like the people I currently work for. Yeah, yeah. I, I do really like them. Same. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. up there in the top. Yeah, I love the people I work for. Nine to five. They can suck me. Suck. It's not the nine to five that I like. It's the corporation I work for. I like them. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Shout out the wing. Uh, I got a question for you guys. Actually, we're on bar talk. Uh, where is your the drunk food? <clears throat> Go to like your essential at home uh, drunk food. Pizza rolls or a ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> or whatever. Rolls, bro. Yeah, leftovers, um, ramen. Mine is very simple. I have the same concoction that I make when I'm hammered, if I'm able to make it and not too drunk to cook. <laughs> it is a bowl of ramen, and then it's a smash burger in the pan with a fried egg, bacon, Doritos, and mayonnaise every time. What Damn. concoction every did time. you just say? <clears throat> I'm going to have to get it one more time. It's a smash burger in the pan. You just make a little... Burger. Yeah, cheese Was on there it. Ramen underneath it. No, 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 just ra- a bowl of ramen on the side. Bowl of ramen then on the, the side. Sandwich. I thought you said ramen, then no, a no, smash no. burger. I, need I to, was like, what? I need to make Evans fucking so drunk smash now. burger. Okay, smash burger, cheese. Okay, take the burger out of the pan. Egg, cook the egg, nice and soft, so the yolk is like your sauce. Okay, a little runny. Out. Bacon, one piece, cut in half, two strips on the burger. Okay, and X. I like it. Okay, yeah, X. Take it off. Assemble the burger. Burger, egg, bacon, mayonnaise, cut it in half, bang. Damn. You do this Fuck. while you're drunk? If I'm able to make it. God damn. 
I think sometimes I know what Evan's about like, to make when yeah, he goes yeah, home now. Yeah, sometimes he's like, sometimes he just fucking eats the eggs raw. <laughs> now Evan's like, let's wrap this motherfucker up right now. Sometimes I just take the ground beef out of the fridge. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, looks done to me. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I've eaten raw ground beef before. On a like a, on an occasion? No, 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 no. We were making <clears throat> deer meat. And you cut it 75% deer meat, 25% fat, ground beef, yeah. so you have the fat in there for burgers. And I just was put my fingers underneath the grinder, and I was like, ate it. How was How'd it? Taste? It just tastes like beef. I mean, it's just raw. so there's, it's a different texture. It's bland. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking flavor. No. It sounded like some liver king shit. That dude's wild. You fuck with that dude? That dude is wild. Yeah, he's that wild. That dude be eating testicles and shit. Yeah, but I've he's yoked. i before. I did it. Dude, because of him, I was like, yeah, I want to try it. I actually just watched a video on YouTube. He did, it was like a fucking little thing with a, like a YouTuber, I guess he was, of some sort. And he stayed with him for like 48 hours or something and trained with him and everything else. Really? I watched this whole – they were doing workouts and shit. And the workouts they were doing was stupid. They had like a 70-pound backpack, like 20 pounds on the feet, 70 pounds on the sled. Yeah, he doesn't do no traditional And shit, he, so. you went like a fucking mile back and a mile that way and shit. Um, and like I saw all the, like, the, the, the feasts that they were having. Stupid. Everything yeah. was – it was unreal. And this guy's house. Oh, that food looks so good. His house is fucking. I want to know what he like. What does he do? He's just uh, a content creator. Is that what he is? Yeah, he used to like. What did he say? But, he did? He I don't know if he bodybuilded. Put that close. Like put that. Yeah, yeah, put that closer. He used to work like a normal nine to five, and I got tired of that. But I guess his nine to five paid him really well, so it gave him the freedom to do what he does now: just content create and brand deals and shit like that. Just kind of basically. Put his name out there. You're good. Um, just for the sole fact. <clears throat> yeah, he's a liver king. Uh, he's a liver king. That's I gotta be honest with you. I would love nothing more than to just have a conversation with liver king. Fuck yeah. yeah like, like, it, like barbaric. On the pod food. would be sick, yeah. but I mean, like, just outside of it, just be like, yo, like, why? Like, cause yeah. all of that shit, like, he has, like, the bone marrow is one of his big things. Why? That's that a bit. Gas. Yeah, I was gonna say that bone marrow is good, bro. It's you really fuck Y'all fuck with that? Like, yeah. yeah. No shit. It's literal butter. Like, yeah. when he says that, he's not kidding. It's really. Yeah. When you melt it and, like, put it on some bread, like, it's oh, yeah. like, it spreads like butter and it's delicious. Really? It's really fucking yeah. good for you, too. Yeah. Would you, do you think you guys could eat a testicle? Yeah, I'd try it. If it's cooked. It. If it is No, it, it ain't cooked. That's just no. testicle. No. Yeah, you just cut it open and it's like a real... I've eaten bull testicle before. You ever heard Rocky Mountain Oysters? They fry them? No. Uh, I've heard <laughs> he of that. Goes, you know, heard them? I, no. I, I, would, I would eat it if it was cooked. I could, I could not eat it if it's I'd raw. i try it raw. I've had them cooked before. I'm like, a big texture guy, so if I put that in my mouth, same, it was slimy and shit. Same. That's why I'm so scared of sushi and stuff. I'm a like, whore for oysters, so if I can eat oysters, I can Sushi, hey, for sushi, you got to you gotta start yeah. slow. You got to start with like a California roll. It's like crab meat. Avocado, meat, avocado and cucumber. Yeah, that's what my brother told me. He loves it and shit. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a very textured. The spicy I. California rolls are fucking f- fire. Yeah, all right. Sushi's a banging drunk food too. All right, I would love a, a Kroger's or Publix sushi when you're drunk. <laughs> Do you think that you could train with Liver yeah. King for 24 hours? And no, let me let me give you a weekend. Fuck 72 no, hours. Back, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You think you would live and train underneath the Liver King like that? Or we, eat like he does? Eat like he does, train like he does, and everything else? Yeah. Is he 100, am I like 100% healthy going into this? Yeah. I mean, like you're set oh. up ready for it. Like you prepared yourself a little bit because you can't just No go injuries. Now. Like I'm all ready to go healthy. Yeah, not shit. your hip right now. Yeah. Yep. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. I'd do it. Cody Ray, do you think you could do it? I don't know if I can. I would try. It's all a mindset. But I, w- I wouldn't want to. That doesn't sound fun, you know what I mean? He has a whole chef in his house. And yeah, the, the chef was the chef was in it too. He he told everything that was on the table and yeah. shit. For like the third meal that they had was on a different table, and it was like he had like a king fucking seat. I was like, yo, yeah. But they roasted a whole pig for like a family of six. So they just... usually do pig roasts for like fucking one hundred and fifty people. <laughs> Dude, they eat, bro. Yeah. They eat. <clears throat> they start off their day with like drinking like fucking. Egg and shit, and his wife's yoked yeah. too. His wife is built too. Yeah, I, I think, think I could. I think I could do it if I set myself right. You know, if I had like <clears throat> gave myself like a month in advance, so I can kind of like cleanse myself and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I could. You know, go seventy two hours and see what I could do. He could push me pretty well, and we could have fun. Yeah, I could be like, hold up, motherfucker! I smoke. Give me a second. My lungs going to explode. Most certainly. I've, I've eaten raw steak before too, and the texture of that is basically like. Uh... 
It's chewy. It's, it's really like chewy. A stiffer Jello. Yeah, it's, it's really. It's just chewy. It's just chewy. I mean, it's it's not necessarily unhealthy to eat that, right? No, huh. because no. It, it's like the red meats, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. you, you ever cook it like medium rare and shit? So yeah, red, red, red meat you can. Psychopath dude with the dreads that eats like fucking raw chicken and like fermented chicken hearts and shit on TikTok. <clears throat> Say that again. This dude on TikTok, he's got like dreads and shit, like a real like. He's a white dude with dreads, real like greasy kind All of right. smaller dude. Strike one, go ahead. <laughs> oh. That's not strike one. No, but he eats like raw, he'll eat raw everything. His whole premise is raw, and like for a while he was doing like fermented chicken hearts and like he said these chicken livers have been sitting in my fridge for like four mm. months in a jar, and he just pull them out, they're black like. Oh, black is tall. God. And he what? just eats them and he goes, they're kind of funky, but they're all Do you right. know the name of this gentleman? Uh, his yeah, TikTok fuck. used... Uh, his TikTok's been deleted a million times because he eats wild ass shit. Yeah, I would delete it I'm as just well. Gonna, I'm yeah. just going to Google him. Last last <laughs> one of my kind or something like that is his name. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. He's crazy. I watch this shit just for ent- entertainment sometimes because it's just wild watching somebody eat fucking chicken hearts when sitting in a fridge. It sounds like what I did with fucking Superhuman. I watch it only for Ooh, entertainment, yeah. entertainment only. Yeah. Ooh, Ain't no way I'm flipping off and going into Legos yeah. and barbed wire no. and a cactus. Yeah, or a fucking fluorescent light bulb. All the fucking time. Uh, do you want your drunk con- concoction? What do you got? What is your drunk food? Or just your go-to. Yeah, your go-to. When you're drunk, what do you want to eat? Honestly, when I'm drinking, I don't want to eat. So whatever I start eating, I'll just fucking smash. Um, probably tacos. Some leftover tacos are banging. Tacos or like burgers, burger like grilled food, burgers, hot dogs, Addict. shit like that. Shit that will absorb the alcohol, so I can drink more. I like My it. only purpose for eating is just to drink more. What about like when you get back to the house, like after the bar, you're hammered. Yeah, pass, you got to make yourself. You just something. get home and you're like, damn, I'm hungry. <coughs> what, you, what are you? What are you reaching for? I don't really do that. I just pass no? out. Uh, I'm, I'm I just more, pass I'm, out. I'm that's fair. Of, I just like when I wake up in the morning, I have a certain food like uh, McDonald's breakfast burritos with hot sauce. Banger, dude! Oh, no matter fuck. what, every time I get drunk, if I got like extra money in my account mm. or whatever, bro, I will fucking hit the Mickey D's, smash about three or four burritos. Yep, to get three of them with home. fucking hot sauce. That hot sauce of picante. Okay. Mm. okay. Yes. Okay. You're speaking to the people. Mine's easy. Mm. Tater tots in the air fryer, and you got to get that Taco Bell or quesadilla sauce that I buy all the time. Dip that shit in there. Damn. That shit smack. That shit yeah, tastes. Yeah, where you get that shit from? Oh, you Dog, asked you for the bag. You go to Taco Bell. Yeah, you're and you just, I Because I always ask for like 25 sides, so they didn't have to take the shit and pour 25 fucking sides. And after I did it like three or four times on the local one, they're like, hey, yo, you just want the fucking bag? And I'm like, well, how big is the bag? And they're like, it's pretty big. I was like, I'm going to see it when I pull up. You ain't about to play me like that. Fuck you. I go up there. It's a decent sized bag. I can put it in a pretty big Tupperware, and I'm like, all right, I'll take that. How much? Another like eight bucks. And I was like, yeah, shit. I, I don't have squ- to deal with. I don't. Bottle. I don't have to deal with y'all half assing me in a cup, and I get half a fucking serving on some of them. Fuck you. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take that whole ass bag. That's eight bucks. That's right. And I had that shit for a while, but uh, we're running a little late right now. We a are. little bit. We got one more segment. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. How's that sound? Because yep. everybody's got a Monday that they gotta observe. Regroup they gotta Monday, swallow baby. in. Uh, <clears throat> regroup Monday. Uh, you want me to start? Off? Yeah, I looked at you. I'm gonna. I'm giving Cody Ray a little break this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my re- regroup Monday. So Friday, you know, you bought the duck. Monday, let him roam free in the fucking <laughs> fuck, I field. Forgot about the duck. Let the coyotes get him. He's like, you're tired of it. He smells like shit. Just set him free. Just let kill him kill the duck. Yeah. Monday or Friday. You're not killing it. You're not let. You're not killing him. You had fun with him for the weekend. Y'all didn't vibe. You're just letting him go back to his natural habitat. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, you know. Jesus Christ. You know, survival of the fittest. My yeah. parents use that ducks. They lay big ass eggs, bro. It's good protein. Oh fuck. Maybe I might keep. Yeah, maybe keep him around. If he's an asshole, just let him go. You guys ever had duck sausage? No. no duck down a- here and get you some. <laughs> I'm going to use that on Taylor when I get home, 100%. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go quick right next. We got Regroup Monday. This guy, I can't um, with him. It's the, it's the day after the weekend. You either worked all weekend or you fucking partied all weekend. Regardless, you want to rehydrate. You want to get your mindset right for the rest of the week. 
Monday night you co- comes around, treat yourself to something that you enjoy, whether it's steak, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, video games. Buy yourself something that you like that will get you through the rest of the week to get you to Friday and fucking ready to go for the weekend. I like it. Okay, so your your essentially is buy yourself something that you can enjoy your week on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Like a giant cookie it's, cake. It's always like good to treat yourself. Okay. Yes, a suck stick. I like cookie cakes. Cookie cakes. Anything, Shout out to suck sticks. Dude. A no. Six anything that brings Shut you up. a little bit of joy to be, <laughs> to like at the end of your Monday. Fucking. Fuck you, Stu. Stuart. Evan, what do you got? <laughs> Mine's simple. fucking asshole. Um, every Monday, something that I like to do. Haven't done it last couple weeks. Been real busy. Out of town for work. Blah, blah, blah. Um, getting that fuck. Hey, also getting that fucking shit. Getting done. that bread. Getting that thing. How was you that? saw was that? It he good? said, we "Yeah." Talk about that. How was it? Did you do good? It was good. Passed them all. Fuck yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Passing the J Mo. Celebrate. Hey. <laughs> nah, leave that alone. He said, "Keep that motherfucker um, right there." Every Monday, it's been a ritual in the household. Uh, make your favorite meal. Make your favorite. I like that. Make your favorite meal after work. Get home. Whatever you your favorite meal is, your go to, your bread and butter. Make that on the Monday. What's your favorite meal, Evan? Mine to make myself is um, fajita Alfredo. Ooh, fajita Alfredo. My fajita boy Alfredo. Evan was hungry and wanted to leave like twenty minutes ago. God and his damn. ass is like, I'm talking about my favorite drunk food and my favorite food. Bro. I know, I'm starving right now. Yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm about to eat y'all. This Hello yeah. Fresh better be done when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, fajita Alfredo. What's good? I'll have to link you guys a recipe sometime. Dog, yeah, link me in. I'll tr- link me in. I'll try it, bro. Oh, shit. I'll, all right, we can dabble with it. We'll let you know next week. We'll, if you send it to us, we'll, I'll, I'll try my best to make sure I can get it to you. Um, it's Mexican and Italian. What the? F- that's yeah, two right. bomb ass fucking food groups. Two dope ass people. You sure? That- <laughs> two dope ass people. <laughs> you sure that's- they're making dope ass food? <laughs> all right, my regroup Monday is. Uh, it's kind of simple on this one. Um, you went the whole weekend drinking beers with your boys, you know. The good old goons went active on the weekend. Reminiscing on that, you know, I talk about the videos and all that extra shit, whatever, whatever. What you need to do is you need to sit down and watch your favorite movie. I like it's Monday. Movie. You had a long work day. Adam on Sandler, Monday. Any yeah. Adam Sandler movie. What's your favorite movie, Travis? My favorite movie? My favorite movie to watch, like, to relax or like okay, there's, there's different te- there's different types when it comes to your movie. You, you can have that you feel get good off movie. Work and you want to watch a movie? What are you watching? Wolf on Wall Street. That's a long yeah. one. Like it, it is a long ass movie. Hey, I, I brought up uh, Adam Sandler. This is completely off topic. Sorry, but did you see? <laughs> he apologizes. Did you see the caddy and Happy Gilmore oh just won God. the tour? Huh? The caddy and Happy Gilmore, his caddy. He's actually from the movie. Yeah, he's actually a professional golfer, and he just won the tour. No way! Swear yeah. to God. I thought you were gonna like, go somewhere else with that. It was like McGavin, I was. I right? thought you were gonna go with that one. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna go with Shooter. Yeah, what Fuck a wild shooter. movie cast. It's like Will Zalatoris or something like that. He was. Hold on. Wait a second. I had no idea. He's about twenty five. So the caddy off of Happy Gilmore. Who, yeah. won the actor. Yeah, the actor just won the with a beard. The the. The no, whole... no, not that guy. The kid when he's wringing his neck kid. in the beginning. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just won the tour. No fucking shit. That's what's up. Adam That's Sandler tweeted at him. Dude, that is sick. That's got to be sick as shit, I remember. How the fucking turntables, dude? Yeah, bro. Fucking insane. Adam Sandler got his green jacket, and dude fucking just out here. He legit got a green jacket? That's so I don't know if he got a green jacket, no, but he definitely got a trophy. He got a trophy. A big yeah. trophy and a big payday. Yeah, and a big payday. Yeah. Dog, that this is was the FedEx. It was the FedEx Cup this week, and yeah, oh, he won yeah. the FedEx. And he won that? Dude, that's yeah. so sick. I, I thought you were going to mention that. When Shooter McGavin Shooter got pulled over, said. he got pulled over, and he goes, but I was in Happy Gilmore. That's yeah, so Don't fun. you know who I am? I was in Happy Gilmore. And they were like, fuck it, get in the car. He goes, Shooter! <laughs> I'm Shooter! Shooter! He goes, he's got a gun! <laughs> Holy shit. Well, yeah, that would be my... Uh, so my mine would be Wolf on Wall Street for sure for my uh, feel-good, relaxing, get my mindset. Because it also, you know, it hungers the uh, adrenaline too. Yeah, the uh, ambition. Yeah, the ambition. Also adrenaline of, you know, waiting for the weekend to get back with the goons. Yeah, I like it. Evan, what's yours? After your yawn. Sorry. Um, my favorite movie of all time is Shawshank Redemption. How many times have you been to Mansfield Reformatory? They shot some of that where I live, actually, in the courthouse. Probably. Really? Yeah. Like 
four or five times. Okay, I was about to say, have you been there? A good, uh, we we go I every went year. For the haunted house. I have yet done that. How That's, good is that? It's pretty sweet. During yeah. COVID, it kind of sucked because like they weren't allowed to touch you and they weren't allowed to do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They had to stay six feet away from you. Are they normally allowed to touch you and shit? Yeah. That's awesome. That's a house where you could do touching? Mm-hmm. Damn, that's They're crazy. They're like, fuck. This Beat your fucking, fucking ass? Ran up, chest bumped me, chainsaw over my head, scared the fucking piss out of me. Came out of the... Dude, this... Scared the fucking... This hallway you walk down is pitch black. Like, I mean, can't see the person right here. Which is probably your wife or your fiance. Yeah. She's going forward? She's first? She was first. He goes, fuck that, you go first. She wanted to. She was like, all right, I'll go first. And I'm like, all right, but... I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. And it, this Babe, be a Karen. Nowhere and just hits me in my shoulder. I'm up against a wall. You just got a chainsaw over my head. I'm like, what? You still hell? can't see anything? No. Oh, All my I hear God. Is, I can just hear. I feel his presence on me, and I just hear the chainsaw above my head. Yo. Yeah, that's sketchy. That's a good, that's a great fucking flick, though. It's a super I've only film, seen it like though. two or three times in my life, but I've been to yeah. the place more than I've seen the actual movie. Haunted House is cool. The day tour is real spooky. Really? Because like you go to the haunted house, pay for the ticket. On the back of the ticket is a free day tour. Oh, that's dope! You know, like a guy to walk you around, show yeah. you everything. Like where everything was filmed and shit. Everything was filmed. They where, just redid that. Like, we went this year, the and there's big a prisoners bunch of that stayed there. Where what their rooms were? There's there's a bunch of new shit. shit that revolves around the movie as well. Now they want more of the movie than the old school, like what actually was prison stuff back in yeah. the day. So there's a lot more artifacts in the from the movie in the and it was cool. They, because we go every year, so to see all the new stuff in there, it was like, wow, this is interesting shit. So if you haven't been there in the last like I'm, year, I went, I'm Andy Dufresne. I went like early last year, so it's been yeah. I would say go while. again for sure. Go again. They oh. host uh, incarceration there too. Yeah, yeah. just recently, mm-hmm. fat ass concert. Yeah, stupid get, bands yeah. that show up there. Yeah, they were corn yeah, yeah, good corn fucking bands there this year. They always get the craziest yeah, the bands. Lamb of God them. goes. Godsmack goes. All kinds of fucking... Before we head out, you guys, favorite movie, go. If you're on a Monday and you got to watch a movie, what are you watching? Oh, shit. Why you put me on the spot like Animal that? Animal Step Brothers, dog. Oh, no. Grandma's Boy. Ah, yes. Damn, that's the first movie I ever yes. saw a pair of tits in. That's a good one. Definitely. Jonah, Titties Jonah one? Hill sucked on those for 13 hours, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't yeah. it funny? That was the actor, too. You look yeah. back at funny. it, like all the success he has. On that movie, he basically was just a dumb dude. That His big part in that was sucking on so tits for it. hours. Now he's a multi-millionaire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely a... Uh... Grandma's boy would be yeah, awesome. A good movie. Or get him to the Greek. I like that one a lot too. I, do not I have like never, that movie. I'm I've sorry. never Russell, watched that. Russell Brand's hilarious, bro. I, I didn't like that. Movie. I've never seen. You that. didn't like it. He's like, no. oh my god, you got to smoke a Jeffrey, and it's got like every drug, and he's like, stroke the furry wall. That's calming you down, yeah. It's. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I have Jonah Hill's in it, and Russell Brand, bro, just dabble it's with it. It's an elite it. duo. Elite duo for yeah, sure. Definitely. Cody Ray, what's yours? So we can get the fuck out of here. Friday. With Chris Tucker and Ice Cube. Yes, yeah. the original. Yes, nice. Okay, yeah. damn, legendary. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, you guys have anything for the Bookaholics <laughs> listening right now? No, or just, watching. Uh, rate, review, subscribe. We appreciate you stay guys. Stay tuned, boys. Yeah, stay tuned for Should big moves. In. Hey, check up on that merch. We're about to be dropping here real soon for you guys. There's other stuff that's along the way that we're not going to spill quite yet. Uh, but subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us yes, on all social sir. media content. Fucking, you know, you threw me off, asshole. Sign up for that wiffle ball tournament. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. It. I was like, you, I don't know what the motion you did there. You went, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that wiffle ball tournament, uh, booger ball, we got that going. Uh, teams are fucking stacking up like crazy. It's going to be closed before you know it. Uh, so definitely get your team in. If you don't even have your team set up, you want to be a part of it, put it in there. Find your team after that because <clears> I'm telling you, these spots are coming out fucking super fast. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, all social media platforms. Share us, please. Like us, follow us. Yes, fucking sir. subscribe to us. Download the episodes. It helps a bunch. And we will catch you guys next fucking Friday. Yeah, on my Twitter, Big Sleazy. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Shut up.